Hello there. Again, I'd like to welcome to Ron Chirwith here at Countryside Kennel. We're going to be talking about a litter of beastless that we was, uh, had birth here at the farm at 10th month, 9th day, 2020. They'd be 9 weeks old, the 12th, 11th of 2020. I have a female called DD. DD has been really reproducing. I'd recommend you look at both videos because a lot of times I say something about one, I say it about the other. Dee Dee is a daughter of Guy, correct? It is. Yes. You know, and, and uh, yes. daughter of Guy, of course, Guy. Your is, mama was my Annie, who was a bench champion. Annie was, was, uh, a, uh, <laughs> national quail or uh, runner-up at National Quail. She was the top ten of the nationals of the VCA nationals in uh, Nebraska. Yeah. Oh, you Dee forget, Dee you forget. Well herself, right? <laughs> yeah, Dee Dee yeah. did really well too. She was uh, uh, third place of the national um, uh, walking uh, dog trials at the national gun dog event. And her brother was the one who took first. Yes. <laughs> and then there's the dog, the sire of these dogs, the dog called Gunner. Mm -hmm. A Gunner is out of a dog called Sis and out of uh, a Miller, a Ranger Bulldog. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, that's another fantastic, all this is fantastic blood like through here, yeah. males and females. Highly, highly titled in the, in the field trial. Uh, Dee daddy was Guy, what's the guy's title to this? He is two times national champion, two times national field champion, uh, three times runner-up champion, ten times one hour championship winner, um, national amateur field champion, dual champion, dual champion CK touchdown guy. Other than that, he doesn't have a title. Yeah, he doesn't do anything here. A uh, guy has been uh, rated uh, one of the best reproducing males. Uh, if you look at his offsprings, they're winning every place. Mm -hmm. And this, well, these offsprings could do the same thing. This is some impeccable bloodline. Uh, Gunner actually took fifth there in Eureka with Jim mm -hmm. Gingrich's. And then we took second at the Nationals. The only one breeding was his brother, full brother, mm -hmm. literally. Correct? Mm -hmm. All right. We got, we look better. He's got a they'll buckle back there for something. Oh, okay, yeah, we've got a couple of them. But anyway, <laughs> this is what we're going to be talking about, four different areas, five different areas. So we're talking about how much white, it's easy here because they got no white. All seven puppies, if you want something that's solid, that genetically wise, not going to throw much white. Let's say you've got a male or a female that throws some white, and you counteract with something like this here. This dog is a great uh, color wise, body color. We had to have a two. I don't know how. I got this as a 2.5. Well, that's dark. <laughs> that's a yeah. two within this litter. Yeah. Yeah. And that's 2.5. Mm -hmm. And the other one, well, we ain't talking about that yet. We got three in size. It's the biggest of the bunch. It is a three, uh, three on tail, as you've seen. Six, seven energy level. They're really passive. They're going to make nice hunting dogs and just nice dogs. All right, Irene. All right. Great. Let's get to gray. Uh, so that dog's chip yes. number, blue chip number, is five two six eight, five two six eight. We found the bird. Now the gray one is chip number nine nine five five. We're getting these all three are males that we're talking about here, and the females that will take they'll take before this. I recommend to look at them. All right, and gray nine nine five five, no white. Is that correct, I? No uh, white on chest. No, no white on, on chest. No, nope. He's got a very happy tail going. He's a three, uh, three point five in size, otherwise medium size. There's one that's a little bit smaller than him. The next one, brown. We got a six, seven energy level. I got this one at seven. It's a little bit more energy than the last one. That's where we want to be. The ideal, is, you know, as far as pets and all, six to eight range. And what makes the difference between six to eight? Let's say you got three kids versus one. Maybe if you got three kids, maybe give the energy level of eight. Oh, or if yeah. you're competition mm -hmm. hunting, and all you might want to get like something like an eight. Or you, uh, you know, if you're really going to hunt a lot. It depends on the energy, what you want to have as far as the energy level, which we think probably the most important thing. We look at these all the way from about six weeks on, we start looking at them and evaluating them. And, uh, and I tell you, they don't, we kind of know where we're at. As far as breed, if you get a program like we have, breed it with a so dark and no white and an average size, an average male weigh, like these dogs will probably weigh anywhere between 45 to 50 at the most, right Denise? Mm -hmm. Females weigh oh. anywhere between 35 to 40. 50's pushing it. Yeah, 50's pushing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Poor bird. All right, now, <laughs> now they're going to play with bird a little bit. Oh, yeah. Now they're going to play with bird. We still yeah, got brown. We, we, we got, got one more. We got brown to talk about yet. Yeah. All right, brown number, chip number 2537. Brown is no white either. Well, I'll tell you what, it's hard to litter. You realize that a 7 out of 7 has no white? Uh, that's pretty hard to do. 
Three in size is the biggest, I'm sorry, three in color. It's the darkest of the bunch, believe that. You can't even see the docile. Look at that tail. Whoa, these dogs gonna tails. do what you're gonna be hearing about these dogs. <laughs> three in, in the body color, you got a two in size, it's the smallest of the bunch. Three in, in tail, six, seven inches level. I got this one as a six. Nice. You see how dark it is all the way through here? They got skinny yeah. there. Not really, it's fat and healthy. <laughs> the girls do a good job, they take that stuff serious. You know, I'm trying to tell them to cut down on feed, not really. <laughs> but you see, an yeah. Irish going to go in and sit down and play with them a little bit, and then she's going to sit down and love on them a little bit. Now, that's right. her dog's mama. Once that's we weed them, then uh, Irene becomes, every mama. day she's here playing with them, you know, takes them out and tells me what's going on. A lot of times, me and her favorite don't actually pick, because she likes to cuddle her, so I like the one independent. Bobby, Bobby, maybe maybe we should have an Irene rating, huh? Irene. <laughs> you bring that back here. That's fine. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Puppy, 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 puppy. And that's the famous call. Your puppies all know all how to come to it. They say, what? What's that? Well, you got someone found the bird again. <laughs> But you notice that the boys just kind of hanging near her and all that stuff. That's all a important part that shows you your uh, tendency for training, no, for to have the ease in training and etc. And the other one is looking for the other bird. They really bobby, like bobby, that. Bobby, bobby, bird, bobby. Right? And uh, and then the Velcro oh. personality. They can be a healthy dog, they can be a smart dog, but if they don't have that Velcro personality, they're not a Vizsla. Thank you. Oh, there God. you are. There you are. Pretty a boy. They are used to that and they love it. And uh, from the Betty. And uh, like you say, Irene's loving on them. We got other crew members here that are always handling the dogs. They are ha they are socialized well with their. They're always with their brothers and sisters. They're with their mom until they're six weeks old. And uh, so you got all that behind your puppy, building that personality and building that sweet dog. Oh, you're going to go to sleep, I think. <laughs> that one's hunting for the bird. <laughs> like that, boys. There you go. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for watching our video. You got any questions about anything, give us a call. Dee Dee and Gunner, these are beautiful babies.